Howdy, y'all. Um, so my presentation is over <coughs> the Apis mellifera and its methods of communication and the biology behind its adaptive mechanisms. This project is by me, Luke Disk, for Professor Tanya Shepard for the class Entomology 320, Honeybee Biology. So we're going to go over first the waggle dance. The species involved in the genus Apis utilizes a specific dance to indicate valuable locations for foraging and nesting. This is incredibly vital for honeybee expansion and survival, as it is a specific signal that the honeybees can use to show their peers that there's a place to find nutrition, protection, or growth. <coughs> the scent of the waggle dance. This is really interesting because previously we just understood the uh, movement part of the waggle dance. What we didn't know was that the scent is just as important and can lead to much further expansion of the foraging community. Recent studies have shown that the waggle dance lets off a scent. This allows the dancing bee to affect the behavior of its fellow foragers. Starting with Carl Van Frisch more than 50 years ago, we have studied communication among honeybee populations, <laughs> and the waggle dance has been the most unique and significant. The primary purpose of this dance is to signal to potential locations for nectar and pollen producing flowers. However, what we hadn't taken into consideration <laughs> is olfactory signals from the bees. Modern science shows that the movement segment, segment of the waggle dancing is only part of the ritual. The scent given off by dancing honeybees attracts further foragers to the site. This is done to signal to other foragers that there is a spot to expand to, as is common for the movement part of the dance. Nevertheless, the scent alerts foragers that cannot see the dancing honeybee, which is vital for effective communication. This comes from us from the source. This comes to us from the source, Korean Thom et al. So, various signal, signaling for quality resources. For the different quality resources, honeybees will signal differently. Um, the Apis mellifera will signal to other foragers that there's a new place for resources. This has been established. We've already talked about this in the past few slides. Um, what Carl Van Frisch expanded on in his research is how the bees will signal differently for the quality of the new resources. When the resources have been found by the forager, the Apis mellifera will dance more if the spot found is of higher quality and will dance less if the spot does not have high quality resources. This comes from us from the source. This comes to us from the source. Why, when, and where did honeybee dance communication evolve? Chemical background for communication. A crucial part of this course was analyzing the methods by which honeybees talk to one another. What we learned was that for every signal, conversation, or response, there was a chemical premise for its conveying. When honeybees communicate with one another, they are using chemicals to depict a specific message. These chemicals exist in human communication as well, which allows us to relate to their interactions. Pheromonal communication plays a big part in these interactions. Another incredibly interesting piece of information is that communication can be explicitly for a cast in the population. For example, um, worker bees can release messages only other worker bees would understand or react to. This comes from us, to us from the source M. Traylon et al. Why honeybee communication is unique and different from other, people, uh, for, for, from other species. The honeybee is spectacular in the sense that is one of the only animals to utilize symbolic communication. The dance language it utilizes is one of the very few known examples of symbolic communication in non-human animals. It comes to us from the source Donald Mintaski et al. This is also a great feature of the Apis mellifera because it is an insect, which is essentially the most simple form of animal. It is common for more advanced species of animals to communicate in a superior method to others related to it, but it is, it is extremely impressive for the honeybee to communicate in the way it does as it, as it is an insect. <laughs> Recruitment among honeybee foragers. The population of Avis mellifera bees must expand their reach in terms of how many bees belong to each caste group. To do this, new recruits for specific tasks must be identified and implemented to accomplish the goals of the hive. However, it is not easy to incorporate bees into the process of foraging, which requires extensive skills in communication. <coughs> Sorry about that. To make these bees valuable and put them into the system of foraging, the new recruits will watch the current foragers and adapt to mimic their mechanisms for doing what must be done to keep the hive healthy and growing. So why it is important to study the Apis mellifera and its relatives? By studying the Apis mellifera and its methods of communication, we can understand that our own mechanisms for interaction amongst human beings should be much more efficient. We're a flawed species, we know that. Um, within the hive of a honeybee population, there is not bickering over things that are meaningless to the expansion, survival, and success of the members. We should understand that our own communication can be better 
can be much better, in fact, and that one of the most simple organisms on the planet is superior to us in terms of the way it interacts with its pupils. So the inter, uh, information I utilized in this presentation comes from several references. First one is Matina C. Donaldson Metaskey and Anna Dornhouse. This is from the article, How Habitat Affects Benefits of Communication and Collectively Foraging Honeybees. It comes from us, to us from a publication, Behavioral Ecology and Sociobiology. It was published in 2020. Robbie Ianson Price and Christoph Gruder wrote the next article. This article is Why, When, and Where Did Honeybee Dance Communication Evolve? comes to us from the publication Frontiers. Um, Harold E. Esch, David C. Gilly, Judith Hooper, and Corinne Thom make up the next uh, authors of the next article. Uh, the Scent of the Wagglands, the title of the article. This comes to us from the publication PLOS Biology. Um, Andrew B. Barron, Jenny Aino Plath are the next authors for the article, The Evolution of Honeybee Dance Communication. Uh, a Mechanistic Perspective, from the Journal of Experimental Biology, uh, published in 2020. Um, M. Traylon and J. Raychard uh, wrote the next article, it's Chemical Communication in the Honeybee, Apis mellifera L, a review, uh, published in 2020. Thank you so much for listening to my project and uh, for learning with me as I did through this. Um, and I hope everyone has a Fantastic holiday and is healthy. It's to see family. So thank you all.